Well, the storm leaving significant damage to homes across the county here in Youngstown. This tree brought down power lines. It's still putting pressure on the house and the homeowners tell me it has cracked walls and left a hole in the roof. The rain was pretty much raining sideways and in a big loud thud. The storm bringing this large tree down onto the roof of a home in Youngstown. Looks like it went through my daughter's room. Everybody was safe. She wasn't home, so we're all good. And in Lower Burl, the wind sent Danielle Skaronski's trampoline into her fence. Trees blocking roads throughout the township, even blocking the entrances to Bel Air Health Care and Rehab Center. Well, the number one concern with the nursing home is actually accessibility right now because their path, their driveway in is blocked off with two different trees going down and there's some high voltage wires going through it. Councilperson Chris Fabry said fortunately generators kicked in and crews established an emergency route through neighbors' yards to get to the center if needed. All of this happening while while Frank Kaufman was asleep. I was woken up by a large cracking sound, felt the house shake. Tr the tree limb out front obviously came down. The pressure collapsing part of his roof. The house is, you know, close to 100 years old, so this is old hard coat, so it bears a lot of weight. I felt the house flexing when the wind was going really bad. It just stopped all of a sudden like, like nothing. It was a township wide effort in Lower Borough to remove the debris and keep people safe from downed power lines. There were so many different streets down that we actually had different citizens that were using their own cars to block off areas where there were lines down. That force of the wind even flipping over this trailer. And we know this family still has power, but about 6% of West Penn customers are without it. We'll keep you updated as crews work to clear the debris and then get power back on. Reporting in Youngstown in Westmoreland County, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.